Why am I so nervous? I am so nervous. But hello guys and welcome to my first YouTube video. I am so excited. This is what I've wanted to do for the longest time and I've finally grown the balls to do it. Um, and I thought we're going to do like a cute little weekend vlog. I think majority of my page will be vlogging if I'm honest because that's the content I like to film. We'll love to do a mukbang. Mukbang? Mukbang? How do you say it? Um, at some point like a little Q&A but I think primarily vlogging so I am going to vlog this weekend I don't know when it's going to be up I'll probably do it the following week but I am really excited and if you do want to join the best friend club I'm just bringing the best friend club over to YouTube um, and you want to follow along for my average life if I'm honest and see what I get up to please subscribe and we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna go through life and I'm just gonna film it really but I'm excited and I'm nervous so let's get in with the first YouTube video <laughs> Good morning guys, actually it might not even be morning when you're watching this so I don't know why I said that but I've just finished getting ready because me and mum are heading out to Primark having a cute little Primark trip, had my smoothie and did you guys know that when you have your smoothie it's only one of your five a day? I put it on my Instagram story being like I'm in my smoothie era, feel so much better, have four of my five a day before I even leave for work. One of the girls on that like follows me on there was like babe I work in healthcare and like it's only one of your five a day because of like how it blends when like you put the fruit in the smoothie. I live delusionally, so for me, there was three of my five a day in that smoothie. It was strawberry, banana, and raspberry. Um, don't live delusionally, listen to the healthcare professionals. Um, but in my head, it just works so much better for me when I, if I think there's three of my five a day. I can't even explain it. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. But I have just got ready. I do really like my makeup. I'm trying to see what you guys can see. It's a bit dodgy, isn't it? Sorry. Um, but yeah, I do really like my makeup. I've just used the new NYX, well it's not new, I've just bought it, it's the new NYX Lift and Sh Snatch, oh I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, no, um, brow tin and I just really like my eyebrows, like they just look really natural rather than like quite pomade -y when I usually do it, but I'm about to get dressed, I will show you my outfit, it's going to be really really basic and I'm going to head out to Primark and we're going to go have a look around there and of course I'm going to take you with me, so let's go to Primark. Okay guys, we're going to have to ignore the mess because like whenever I get ready, like you can see, I just don't ever put anything away till the evening, but this is my outfit, it's super basic, so I have this, um, it's like a jersey material top from... Uh, H&M, it's like the Skims dupe, I did it on my TikTok, like all the codes and everything, um, if I, if they are still in stock, I will link it down below, then I have these sweaty Betty, like flared yoga pants, I live in these, bought them at Christmas, don't ever take them off really, um, June bag, but I got it from TK Maxx, and then just me Adidas superstars, um, that is a pop sock, there if you're wondering what that is but we're about to go to Primark I'm gonna have to like try and figure out how I do it between like TikTok in and YouTube because I'm gonna be doing both so let's see how much I get co content I get for both of them but let's go because I wanted to leave 20 minutes ago okay guys I'm gonna have to whisper because it's so quiet in here but I'm in Primark and I love this trench but it is too big and I'm really annoyed because I've only got two size larges and this is like the large but it's just too big but what do you guys think i think it's really nice but i definitely would need a medium because like even like doing that up because i was like oh if i had like a chunky jumper or whatever oh i'm really struggling with one hand doing this but like even with like a chunky jumper i just think that just looks like it's drowning me doesn't it what if i sin yeah no i was like what if i cinch it in with the belt let's try it this is really hard with one hand and I'm pretty sure you've literally yeah you keep going down I'm sorry about that what if I cinch it in even though even this it looks too big doesn't it does it <sighs> let me put the belt on properly and then I'll come back okay I've just put the belt on properly and it's still like I just think that top bit looks ridiculous like it looks fine down there but I do have a Primark near where I work so I think I'm gonna go there but I just love it. I think it's so cool. But yeah, I think I definitely need a small size. I just think this is ridiculous. Like, it doesn't even look cool. It literally looks like I'm wearing two sizes too big. So I'm going to go to the one in my work next week and try and get this because it's gorgeous. It is £40 though. It's a bit spenny. But I think it's worth it. But let me show you the other bits I've tried on. I've literally only bought two other bits. I haven't actually found a lot. I came in here really hoping i was going to find like loads of knit jumpers and i just haven't so let's see what the other two are like okay i've just put the mum jeans on and 
they're just a no as well i don't know what it is every time i try mum jeans on i hate how they look on me like they just look gross like they just don't suit me like i look flat and they just don't they don't suit me which is annoying because they are a really nice jean but for me they're just a no are they a no yeah i just don't think i'd wear them like, i don't feel confident in them so there are no one more thing to try on three for three this is also a no like it is really nice so it's just like this little black dress and i thought for work perfect great but i just i don't feel like it's doing anything for me like it's just it's just not doing anything so i think primark's actually been a fail because there's nothing else here that i would actually get in terms of clothes i've got some pajamas i've got some shoes i want to get i want to look at their scarves um but in terms of clothes i've got nothing so bit sad about that one if you guys have not watched me before you will not know my obsession with the boyfriend pajama sets from primark coziest thing is literally like you're sleeping in a spa throw away all my other pajamas just for these and they have so many different colors i'm pretty sure i actually have all of these i have that color have the black i don't have the pink i'm not a big fan of the pink have the gray do i have the navy yeah i do think i bought the navy they're 15 pound and i'm literally obsessed with them i pick up a pair every time i'm here so i'm actually picking up a pair for my friend not for me but obsessed also guys look how many udis they have and they have more in like a whole nother separate part of the store they are so cute this little croissant one let me zoom into that oh let's find the zoom button on this sorry look at that they're like 22 pound and they feel the same as an actual ud i'm honestly obsessed i love them right guys we've just finished shopping big fat fail we've been in there 58 minutes primark was absolutely rubbish there was just nothing that i liked and anything i did pick up just did not look good on me so we're now going to super drug and savers i think that's it right yeah <laughs> my mum's here but she doesn't want to talk um so we're going there now and just run a few errands and then i'll check in a bit later look what my mum has come back with biscoff ice cream cake neither of us have ever seen this she got it in iceland and i'm very happy i knew it was biscoff when i saw her walking i saw the red packaging but this looks insane cannot wait to have that tonight okay i've just got back and i thought i'd show you what i've got i didn't get a lot as i said primark was pretty shocking well my one was anyway so i picked up five cotton thongs which fun um i also just picked up some hair bands that was a very at the till sort of purchase and then i did pick up a set of boyfriend pajamas for one of my friend's birthday she knows she's getting them but doesn't know the color and i think she's probably gonna watch this video so i don't want to show that then i went into super drug sorry it's all in my tote bag i got this brow setting gel it's to got to be i've seen good things about that and i just need a new one because my refi one is um running out i got a heat protection just a super drug one because i need one i don't really want to spend loads on it and then i also got a garnier um bb cream this is what i use at the moment it's what i've got on my face today and i was running out and then i just picked up some birthday cards so i've got three i picked up one for my brother because his birthday's just been um and two for my friends but i can't show you that because i think they're gonna watch it um but that is all i picked up we are now gonna eat something and then we're gonna go to my grand's for the afternoon so i won't film anything while i'm there but i will check in a little bit later so as you can tell it is now quite a lot later um it is five to eight i got in from my grand's i want to say like half six or like an hour and a half ago so since then all i've done is eaten i did my skincare had a shower um got into my pajamas and these are the boyfriend pajamas by the way they are literally the coziest thing in the whole entire universe um i have edited my tiktok vlog so i'm still doing like my spend the day with me's over on tiktok as well and right now i just have criminal minds on um which is what i'm going to be doing for the rest of the evening it is quite cozy over here as well i need to want to make this i need to and i want to make it like a bit more all to me so i want to get like a pumpkin and put it there um but that is probably next week's to do um but yeah that is all i've done this evening i'm just gonna watch criminal minds for the rest of the evening and we will come back tomorrow i don't even know what i'm doing tomorrow i'm going for a run hopefully I've, my shin's hurting at the moment i've got bitten and it's quite swollen so i'm hoping that will go down and i'm also going to meet a friend for a walk so i'll take you along with me then as long as i can walk um but yeah we will check in tomorrow oh also 
have a bag of Maltesers while I'm eating my, um, while I'm eating, while I'm watching Criminal Minds. So this all will be demolished and I'm very excited. But yeah, I will catch in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. It is now Sunday morning. What is the time? Eight o'clock and I'm just about to go on a run because if you don't know and you've never heard of me before, I'm actually running the London Marathon next year for Cancer Research. So I have not ran before I signed up for this marathon like in years so i'm trying to get like all my running in i try to do three a week so i'm going on one this morning i will show you what i'm wearing it's literally super basic and then i'm gonna go on a run okay so this is what i wear for most runs i only ever wear a sports bra because whenever i wear a top the heat i feel is literally so uncomfortable it's a joke i don't know what it is like i just can't run it and then i've got these under armor um shorts on and then i just have my little running trainers and um, i do need to get a new pair like i'm gonna get a gait analysis and get actual running trainers but for right now that is it and then i will also put my let's ignore the mess there um but i'm also gonna put my running vest on so i'm gonna go for a run i'm not gonna take you with me because i just think i'll be too shaky but i will check in with you guys after the aim is to do three miles this morning so let's see if i can do that and what time i can do it in but i'll catch up with you after three miles down and this is what i look like i don't even think the camera is picking up how red and sweaty i am but i did three miles i did it in 38 minutes and 20 seconds which is not my best time but it's a lot better than it was but my calves were hurting i went to a physio the other day and my muscles are quite tight in the back of my thighs and my calf um so it did hurt but i'm glad i did it i feel a lot better um but yeah i'm just sweaty i need to get the massage gun I need to have a shower because i'm literally like you know when you're sticky i mean it's probably tmi but um but yeah that is what i've just done feel good that i've done it now that i've calmed down i literally got in i want to say like three minutes ago and when i first get in from a run i cannot speak so i have to give it like a couple minutes but i'm fine now i'm just red and sweaty and i'm gonna go and have a shower and do my skincare because gross so it's half an hour later and i still haven't showered but i have taken my arm to work and i decided to make some breakfast and i'm gonna show you guys because you're probably actually not that interested let me switch you around sorry scrambled egg i'm in my scrambled egg era and question what do you have on top of your scrambled egg so i have ketchup do you have anything on top of your scrambled egg maybe you don't have anything but comment down below what you have on your scrambled egg um i'm going to enjoy this and i'm quite excited to be honest it's protein because apparently you're supposed to eat that after a run i don't know about that but i'm going to eat this i'm going to enjoy it and then i'm going to have a shower because i'm bloody gross like a champion high heading off to starbucks to meet a friend and i'm really hoping the audio is clear on this because i don't know if it's just gonna be too rattly but i'm heading to a friend we're going to starbucks because we're going to get the pumpkin iced no pumpkin spiced latte for all oh, that was a bit bumpy wasn't it for me to try um she's actually gonna get it because she likes it i don't like tea or coffee and i'm gonna do a taste test and i will vlog it i know i'm not gonna like it and I'm very aware of that, but I want to be an autumn girly. I want to be an autumn queen. And I really want to try it, but I just don't think I'm going to like it. So I'm like 13 minutes away, going to drive there. And then I will check in with you guys once I try it. And I'm not going to like it. I'm very aware, but we're going to hope I like it. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in like probably like half an hour once we've arrived at Starbucks and I'm going to try it. Right, we're in Starbucks and I'm going to try the pumpkin spice latte. I don't think I'm going to like it. You don't think I'm going to like it, do you? <laughs> I don't like that, I don't think. Get past the pork. I get it without coffee? No. I don't mind the taste. It's the coffee I don't like. To be fair, a girl asks it like coffee. Because I actually don't mind that, which I'm quite impressed. I can just taste coffee. The actual thing just tastes like gingerbread. So that's actually a success if you didn't have coffee in. Do you want to get another one without that coffee? No. Well, that's a success without the coffee, which I'm quite surprised at. Um, but yeah, now we're just going to stay in Starbucks for like ages and talk. Yeah, okay, I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. Guys, we've been looking if I can get pumpkin spice latte. Oh, it's not really focusing. If I can get pumpkin spice latte without the um, latte. And you actually can. It's called pumpkin spice cream. Go down what it includes. It's literally milk <laughs> and pumpkin spice. 
and whipped cream. So here it goes. We combine steamed milk with flavors of pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. So won't today because I'm done with coffee, but I can be an adult now and go to Starbucks and get a coffee that isn't a real coffee and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I'm being laughed at, but I'm excited. So I'm back home now and on my way back, I picked my mum up from work and do you know what? I am so surprised that I liked that pumpkin spice latte. Didn't like the coffee in it, but I just don't like tea or coffee anyway. So I'm gonna try the pumpkin spice cream, what's it called, that I showed you guys. But it just tasted like gingerbread. It didn't taste like pumpkin, but I don't know what pumpkin's supposed to taste like, if I'm honest. So I'm gonna try that. Maybe, maybe in next week's, what, next week's vlog, we will try that. Um, but I think now I'm just gonna sit down. I'm gonna try and edit what I've done for Sunday's video so far. I mean, it's one big video, but like Sunday's part. Um, and I did ask you guys on Instagram, like, would you prefer weekday, weekend upload? So at the moment, weekday is winning, a Wednesday at 5 p.m. So I think that's what I'm gonna do because it gives me enough time to edit the vlog. Um, and like, if something happens over the weekend or at the beginning of the week, I'd still have time. But I will let you know like what my regular upload schedule will be. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my little chocolate raisins. Can you see that? No, it's still focusing on my face. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my chocolate raisins. I'm gonna edit this and I'm sure I'll catch in with you guys later. Don't know what I'll be doing. Probably not that fun, but we'll have a little bit of talk later. I did also wanna show you guys that I actually cleaned my room from earlier. I didn't give you like a full rundown, but you like saw that area where it was so messy. Oh look, there I am. Um, but this needs to go into the charity shop. Then all the floors are clean, like my dressing table. I don't know if you can see that, but there's literally nothing on there. There's leads down there. All of this is clean, same as the other bedside table. Um, but yeah, that is some fun content for you guys to see my clean room. <laughs> so I've just had dinner and I'm about to try the Biscoff. I'm trying to, oh, I'm about to try the Biscoff ice cream cake. I wanna show you guys, oh, it's still focusing on my face. How good does that look? And I've never tried this before and I showed you yesterday on the vlog, so I thought we'd do a taste test together. It just looks like ice cream. I'm not really getting much biscoff right now. Let me get a bit of biscoff from the top. It does taste nice though. <laughs> this is such an anti-climax, isn't it? I'm getting a little bit of biscoff, but not much. I'm a bit disappointed. It has, I think the chocolate that you saw throughout it is biscoff because if I, oh, I don't know if it's gonna fall off. Like, there we go, like that. I don't know if that's focusing. That is like in between the slices and that is Biscoff. Don't get me wrong, it is really nice, but it's not giving me Biscoff. Maybe if I put some Biscoff spread over it, like melted that. Okay, that was a bit of a fail. I do like it, I just wouldn't get it again. I'd rather get a Biscoff like lolly. Do you know what I mean? But okay, well, I'm gonna go and finish the rest of this. It was a big fat fail, but I'm glad I did it with you guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go finish this. Guys, what do we think of this top? So I do have this, it's the same Skims one that, well, Skims dupe that I was wearing yesterday from H&M. And I have it in the high round neck, the long sleeve, but I don't know if this neckline just looks a bit weird. Like it's not square, me and I'm saying, like it's not square, it is here and then it goes up and I'm just not 100% sure on them. I'll leave um, a link for them if you do like them. But I'm just not convinced, so please let me know in the comments, like, what you think, should I keep, or should I get, should I send back, not get rid. But I don't know, I keep looking at it, and I just think that looks a bit weird. If it was just, like, straight, I think it'd look really nice, but I don't know. So please let me know your thoughts, because I don't know what to do. I have just got out of the bath, and honestly, if you love a bath, one bit of advice I can give you, buy yourself a bath pillow, buy yourself a bath tray at B&M, do them so cheaply, is cheaply a word? Probably not, they do them so cheap, um, and it just accentuates, is that the right word? It just makes the experience so much better. Um, so get yourself one of those, well, two things, but it is now eight o'clock, and that concludes my first YouTube video. How have I just filmed? My first video, I really hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed filming it. Please let me know down below if there's anything that I could have done better, anything that you wanna see, anything that you didn't like, because although I love filming them and it just makes me happy, I want to know what you guys wanna see and if there is anything I can improve on, please do let me know. But that is my first video all done. I will let you know like my regular schedule when I get it. I think it's gonna be Wednesday at 5 p.m. but it, blah, blah, blah. But it depends whether um, I can 
pre-upload like pre-schedule i don't really know how it works so i will figure all that out but yeah that is my first youtube video done please subscribe down below if you do want to see my future videos i'm going to be doing it once a week i think right now that is a good level for me um and yeah please let me know if there is anything else you want to see and that is my first video done i know i've said that about a million times but I can't believe I've done it and I just felt so happy doing it. I really hope like you can see, oh my God, I can understand why people say their arms hurt when they film because that has hurt my arm and it's literally only been like a minute and 30. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you did get to the end of this, please let me know because I think it's about 20 minutes now. I will also link down below um, the two tops that I mentioned if they're in stock and I'll do my TikTok and Instagram if you do want to follow me on there. Um, but yeah, please subscribe because... I just want to build this community and just show you my life really it's going to be like our life like we're going to create it together but yeah that's it done and i hopefully will see you in the next one love ya